Shalom, Rastafari, and Shalom, uh, peaceful greeting, Sinai, brother, and um, Mr. Mirage, to Supercat, and um, this video right here, we just pointed out, we, some of y'all might have already seen it, the overstand, but um, I, I don't think nobody mentioned this video to I and I, so we actually got to find this video on this um, YouTube channel, um, Conquer a Real Talk. Um, there was the Emperor's Birthday clip right here that actually was the link. This is the link to that particular vid and everything. So we watched that again um, and then seen some of the additional clips with um, his brother Omar and stuff like that and some reggae that was put, you know, as a, as a footer to it, so to speak. Anyway, but this vid right here, um, we're pointing this out because, um, uh, you know, this brother and um, I and I know of and uh, I got to meet, and it's a blessing. I don't know whether him remember I and I, and I and I sister wife, and sister Mimi, and just the whole LOJ line of Judas Society crew that, um, you know, I have made acquaintance with Cat. But it's this brother right here that really the news concerning, um, we called him Fred the Dread, you know, um, amongst I and I. And, you know, just, just, it, was, it was just love in the King of Kings, in the reality. This is his manager. This was his former, the late great, the late great uh, Fred, Fred, Frederick, um, we call him Fred, but Frederick Donna. I, I'm, I'm not too sure if we knew his whole name at the time, but that wasn't necessary. This is, this brother in right here, it, it took I and I aback to, to learn that um, he had uh, passed away, that he had returned to the spirit world, as I and I say. And this was in um, 2000, 2007. You know, um, we, we didn't know anything of, of, uh, absolutely about that. And we had thought on this brother for a while and everything. This is Supercat's manager. And just the circumstances concerning his, um, I would say it was an assassination. It was a conspiracy. It was, it was more of the Delilah music industry. We wanted to present a lecture um, on Ethiopian World Net concerning um, Bob Marley and the Delilah music industry, something that we had studied from before and we shared with some ones and ones, but we never really published it. But um, upon hearing and reading, um, well, not actually reading, but actually, you know, reading this, this title here, Supercat Interview, um, talking about music business, talking about the music business, and the assassinations on his life. Uh, wow. Because some, some of these things we heard about, you know, some of them we were able to confirm. You know, real things where, you know, they fight against those who, who stand for truth and those who are bold in their proclamation, their faithful proclamation of the truth. As the Don Dada, as Supercat, as Mr. Mirage has been, and upon meeting him and, and reasoning with him and, I think we shared a Guinness style. He, he, he bought one for I and I and I and I crew at the reggae lounge some years, some years ago, some years previous. Um, but it's this man that we knew a little more um, so than um, Supercat because he used to drive I and I around, he used to bring 
Aisha's herb for I and I, and um, even Sister T, T Sister Tehitna, Sister Mimi, um, she even reminded me that we had cooked some K what, actually some K what, which is the uh, one of the traditional Ethiopian, um, uh, the, the, you know, the red porridge that that Esau, you know, sold his blessing for. You know, we actually cooked that, which is a, a oh, it's a really really good. If you haven't had no any K what. You know, go to an Ethiopian restaurant, a real Ethiopian restaurant, and order some k wet with some injera and, you know, berbere and meat mitai and all that good stuff. But anyway, you know, that's just remembering the good times, as it were. But we wanted to just say a word. You know what I'm saying? We just wanted to say a word concerning this this brother right here, um, um, Fred Frederick Donna. 1964 to 2004, and also to encourage you to check out this particular vid right here, um, Super Cat interview talking about the music business and the assassinations on his life. I mean, it's a very, very informative, um, um, eye-opening, as we say, but you have to open your ear and, and hear the real message that's being proclaimed, which is very, very, it's another testimony, very similar to what we've been hearing on the other end of the music business. He overstand up here in America, and, and with several artists, he points out, he then reminds us and, and even reveals to us many aspects of the music business that one thought was just a rumor, you know what I mean, when they say, well, how come Cat is not doing anything? In fact, we even mentioned this guy and I, sister wife we said that you know he, he had a song that came out recently and we saw it on one of the uh, one of the the TV um, video music maybe video music box or something and we thought oh wow he's coming out with something new and then it was just yanked off of the air at least we didn't see anything more we saw the video one time and maybe not even the whole vid uh, now, now we get to give thanks, Mr. Cat. Give thanks, Super Cat. Give thanks, Mr. Mirage. You know, for for uh, bringing forward your testimony, and it's a powerful and it's a real testimony. But it's this brother here that we, you know, we had to say a, a few words about, and um, because he was he was a friend of I and I's, you know, and it really hurt I and I to hear of what had happened to him, and. It just make I and I think on so many other things that he said to us and even things he did not say, you know, but you could tell that he knew much more than, 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 than he said so much because even a lot of us didn't even know about this music business or, you know, we were under the illusion or, or Delilah illusion, the delusion, the Delilah. We was under the Delilah, you understand, about this whole music business, many of us, you know. And some of y'all still are under this delusion about the music business. But we, we suggest, strongly suggest that you check out this vid right here, Super Cat's interview talking about the music business. And those other brothers and sisters who we might not have um, been in link with over the years, but know of, um, you know, remember Fred, you know, just keep him in your prayers. And may he, you know, may he rest in the bosom of Abraham and, and may Jah have mercy on, on, on his soul. Um, wow. Please check out this interview. Link it. You understand. And really get it in discussion of what, what can be done and what should be done concerning this. But this, this interview right here is a really, really important interview. Please check it out. May Jah bless in the name of Yeshua HaMoshiach. Jah bless I and I brethren. Chant. Rastafari. Shalom, Rastafari.